This pickup has obviously been modified. Bumper mounted chairs for guys with nets. Spotlights to detect movement in grass. A speaker to play music loudly. This setup is part of a pheasant study in Hitchcock County of Southwest Nebraska. Biologist T.J. Walker. We are trying to capture male ringneck pheasants. Um, night lighting is what we call it. It's a very interesting process. And on those seats we have two netters, one on each side of the front of the truck. Um, up in the back of the truck we have a couple seats up there for our spotlighters and their job is to see the pheasants moving through the vegetation and use the lights to point out to the netters where they are. We also have a loudspeaker on the front of the truck. It works well and the point of the music or any other background noise is to cover up the footsteps of the netters. Hunters harvesting a banded bird can keep the band but are asked to call the number on the band and report details like location where the bird was shot. They give us a location and so we get a little, a little bit of movement data. We find out that the birds, uh, in fact, last year most of the birds were shot in the field that they were captured in, um, which is also important to know. But we did have some birds that were shot up to two miles away from their point of capture, which shows that the birds are moving around some. Uh, we also get harvest information. Uh, about 21% of the birds were harvested down there in Hitchcock County based upon our band data. Shows that a lot of those birds made it through the hunting season and may be you know, available for the next breeding season this year. We also get information on survival and during the capture phase we can get adult juvenile ratios which is an important statistic to get as well. The leg banding work is an element of a broader initiative called Focus on Pheasants. In 2002 the Game and Parks Commission and Pheasants Forever and others realized that we, uh, you know, in response to several years of declining pheasant populations in the state, we realized we needed to take a little more active stance in our pheasant management and get a little more aggressive in what we're doing. So we started the Focus on Pheasants program. Uh, the first, first attempts at that were up in Dixon and Stanton County. They had some opportunities in some CRP rich cropland areas to go in and do some uh, what we called upgrades where they distant dis the CRP and interceded forbs to increase nesting and broodering cover. And that went fairly well. We had some noxious weed issues and things like that. But we have since uh, added another six focus areas across the state. Walker's message is that agriculture and wildlife management can coexist. And the private landowner's involvement in pheasant management in Nebraska is, is essential. 97% uh, of the state is privately owned. Um, if we're going to manage for any wildlife species, including pheasants, bobwhite quail, things like that, uh, we're definitely going to have to have the landowners involved which includes getting their buy-in, um, getting them to you know, accept different management practices, and also to get them proud of what they have, and, and they should be, especially in places like Hitchcock County right now. We, we'd also like to get the message across that uh, agriculture and pheasants are not exclusive of each other. They can, they can go hand in hand very well. And the one thing we're doing different down in the Southwest focus areas, we're actually offering some incentives for different cropping practices. We have, uh, incentives for having tall wheat stubble, for example. If they have wheat stubble over 14 inches tall, we'll pay them if they're willing to leave that through April 1st of the following year. Um, we also pay them for milo stubble in the same way. If it's over 14 inches tall and they're willing to leave it till April 1st, it gives another, uh, another type of winter cover. It gives them some safe foraging areas where they actually have protection, visual protection from aerial predators, things like that. And current studies will better outline those practices.